Hi guys, the Chocolate Lover here, and today we'll be trying out the House of Dorchester. And so, the House of Dorchester Company is based in Dorset, the county Dorset, and they used to be called Dorset May, the shop, uh, in 1963. That's when they kind of started. But they changed the name in the year 2002 uh, to House of Dorchester. Is on the and the packaging itself is really lovely, very British made, very British. Um, I think this would be good for the tourists. Uh, who love the how marvelous it's very. It's uh, how do you describe? It? Not like canvasy, but it's nice, soft, kind of smooth packaging. And uh, yeah, it's all it's all here. It's eighty grams and it's only. So it's very 3.5% uh, cacao solid, which is basically just a normal milk chocolate. Milk chocolate tends to be 32, 33 percent. Um, and this is all that like, handmade, uh, ha handmade chocolate. And uh, yeah, let's see, shall we? Let's tuck in. Let's tuck in. Ooh! Oh wow! It's beautiful. And yeah, they they have put plastic around it, which you guys know. I'm a little bit. Hmm. But look at that. Now that, my friends, are an interesting look. They're like little Lego bricks. Lego lad, Lego lad, Lego 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 lad. Um. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice chocolate. Just lo looks like classic milk chocolate, to be honest. Um. Yeah. Let's tuck in, shall we? Ooh, very strong smell of of the milk chocolate. Wow, that's strong. Oh, that's really it's beautifully smelled. Oh, the smell is. It's like well, a very good quality chocolate. You can tell it's not sickly smell. It's not the sickly chocolate smell. It's nice. It's aromaed. Ah, smells of heaven. Let's start chucking. Hmm. Well, this chocolate. For me, I'll probably eat that in a heartbeat, but it doesn't seem, I mean it seems like a classic milk chocolate, like you eat it it's like, yeah, I recognise this taste before, this doesn't seem to have a, a, a you know, a sh like a bang, like a, like you eat it like wow, like, like I did love cacao one, where was the, that one was the, my best milk chocolate I've ever had. This is like a just like a typical uh, milk chocolate. And the aftertaste, well the aftertaste itself it has a nice and a good chocolate it's not strong. It's not a very strong um, cacao taste because it has much less cacao than you get in normal Normal brand like forty five percent. This is like thirty three percent, thirty three percent. So it's there, but it's it's like drinking a drink drink with sweetener. It's there, but it's not as strong uh, than if you drink a, a sugar a sugar drink. Um, texture is very smooth. It's a very smooth chocolate. Very, whew, it will. It, it well, it's just basically like a normal milk chocolate. Um, but made in Dor a Dorset, but, but it's, it's like handmade and thing. Um, but you can see nice smooth texture, I would say. But hmm, it's 
The texture reminds me of Tony's because I think the processing of the chocolate was and then grinding being grinding very very fine. So it has a nice uh texture of taste. But the texture yeah, the texture's very good. I think the texture is very smooth, subtle, it's not it's not yeah, this chocolate's quite not hard, it's quite a, a thin piece of bar which is uh absolutely it it's 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 just one for a little snack and stuff you you have. Um so this costs three pounds fifty and I think that's uh, for eighty gram bar of three pounds fifty, that's a good value. That's really good value. Um I think it's yeah, this is this is worth a buy I would say. Uh if you just wanna um try some good good quality chocolate and yeah, and they do. Uh, this company, House of Dor this company, House of Dorchester, uh, they also do truffles as well. They do like a fine watercolor collection. Uh, they do all other other, other kind of chocolates. But on the description bar, I will put down the website where you can get this divine chocolate. Mwah. Uh, yes, and also I'm going to put down also on the description, there's a documentary about the chocolate industry uh, for, uh, called, the, the documentary is called Rotten and you'll see how uh, the cacao industry, um, as, I, as I mentioned before in my uh, channel, about the slave trade in, uh, in Ivory Coast of Ghana and also yeah, where you get, where you get this chocolate from and uh, yeah. Uh, please sub, um, put the bell icon on if you want to know when my video is coming out. When, I, when I'll be like, Psh. um, sorry for the delay though. I should have said this at the beginning. Sorry for the delay. It's been really hot to, in the UK because I'm UK based, and I didn't want to eat it. And my stuff, my chocolate start melting. But now it's much cooler. Uh, it. I'm gonna start doing these regularly, and also I'm gonna have a big shout out to. Uh, the University of Westminster uh, animation team. Thanks for, for thanks for subscribing. Uh, and also, before you guys go, this will be the next chocolate. I want to say thank you to Anna Anna Subala for providing this for me. She's one of my friends, and she took all took trouble of getting this chocolate. That this is a very good. Uh, chocolate brands, very uh, luxurious. So yeah, this will be in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Please like and subscribe and share. And I'll see you all very, very soon. Adios.